Hey there, friends. This is Bill McDonald, the reading and writing doctor. I want to share with you one thing that frustrates me about many of the reading passages, especially those in secondary and even the upper elementary grades. They don't seem to be relevant or interesting, which makes them very unengaging. And so as students are reading them, there's a complete disconnect. So in my quest to help you teachers and write passages and selections for this year and next year, I, I wanted to make sure that they were rigorous but also relevant to the point that students can possibly see the world, see even themselves from and through what they're reading. And so I'm excited to share a poem that I wrote today uh, that was inspired by a good friend of mine, Michelle Torres who is very talented and writes from a very raw and real perspective and point of view. And so I asked her to send me some of her poems. And so what I did was I took what she wrote and made it into sort of a poem that would be a secondary relevant relatable poem that hopefully your students can see as me being very vulnerable michelle being very open about what real life is what it's like and how to deal and cope with the circumstances and the things that we sometimes don't feel like we have the tools to handle. So the poem is called From Broken Pieces to masterpiece. And again, I, I wrote it, but it's inspired by my dear friend, Michelle El Torres. So here it is. I have, I wanted to make sure you could see the poem today and I, I'm gonna put a free copy up for all of you. But for all of you, anyone who has purchased the ELAR binder, you're going to get all of my poems and stories and descriptive and all of the reading passages that I write from now and throughout the rest of the school year in the summer. So I just wanted you to be able to see the, the poem itself for today. And then tomorrow I will go ahead and add some questions that will challenge your kids, but also be able to have them think from their own perspective about their broken pieces and how they can perhaps shift their view about themselves, how, how they see them sp themselves in spite of what other people see or say or think about them. So here we go. What looked like chaos and confusion in the pieces called my past has created the sum of who I am now. From all the faces that crossed my path and all the places my journey has taken me, a collage of memories formed in my mind. Some were painful and made me ask why. The fear of failure and how others viewed me tormented me daily, fracturing my thoughts. My dreams became shattered, all hope was lost. Even the songs I would hear and the moves I watched were 
broken relationships and heart torn apart. So by now your kids should be able to see what's the point of view? Is it, what tense is it in? And so this one is written from a first person point of view, from the point of the view of the author and it's written in past tense about what life was like up until now. Second section. Then one day, a daunting question flooded my soul. If the storms of life will not go away, if darkness surrounds me from now till I die, what is one thing I can change to help me survive? I listened and waited for what seemed like days for a key that would open the door of my prison. I removed my glasses and glanced all around. What I saw suddenly cleared my vision, not with my eyes because things were so blurry. What I realized was simple yet so profound. When you remove your pain tinted lenses, the world doesn't change. Only the way you see it will. It was that precise moment that I began to be free. I chose to accept who I was, am, and even who I might become. My attitude shifted by changing my perspective. I began to look at my world from a whole new vantage point. There's a transformation. The tears from my failure slowly transformed to laughter and smiles. Once broken and empty, my heart became full. What before were my defects, imperfections, and flaws are now a reminder of how unique I was created. Even when many ignored me or saw me as junk to discard, I now view in my mirror as a valuable and worthy treasure, a masterpiece in the making. And because Many times they add something, a, an image, a picture, a graphic. Uh, I decided to include this picture, this little bowl, and it's a Japanese art. So let me just go ahead and read this description that relates to the passage and how we can view ourselves. Kintsuji, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, is the Japanese art of putting broken pottery pieces back together with gold, built on the idea that embracing flaws and imperfections, you can create an even stronger, more beautiful piece of art. So the point of my poem inspired by Michelle was that Sometimes it just takes putting the pieces together, looking at them from a different lens. For those of you who are people of faith, perhaps through the lens of the Holy Spirit so that you can see the good, the positive, the, the, the hope, the future, the joy, that's just around the corner, that, that sun that's just beyond the darkness if we just don't give up. And I just see so many students, especially as they get into secondary, middle school and high school that are dealing with so many things that are so overwhelming that they just don't know how to cope. And I'm hoping that not only will this passage be a helpful tool for your reading, but it will become a talking point where maybe some kids will open up about their lives with you and with each other, the people that they can trust and begin to see their brokenness as just a masterpiece in the making and 
I hope that this, if any of you teachers out there feel broken, feel like your life is just shattered for whatever reason, I hope I've encouraged you in some way through this point, feel free to print out the copy of it that I included in this post. Uh, you can email me at the word writing underscore doctor at yahoo.com. You can have a free copy of, of the poem if you'd like. For those of you who are the ones who purchased the binder, you'll get a copy of this. I have all of you uh, who have purchased it and I will send this copy to you once I have the questions ready. And uh, I'll continue to do the same thing throughout the school year for all of you who um, purchased the binder between now and all the way up until uh, the testing date. Uh, so bless you guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. Please share or tag one of your teacher friends, especially not just for the sake of reading, but if you know someone who feels like their life is at a point of brokenness, beyond repair, hopefully this will encourage them, inspire them, lift their spirits and restore their soul. So. You guys take care and God bless.